guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today we are going to do the makeup look that you're seeing there that beautiful beautiful mod makeup look inspired by the 1960s 1970s very beautiful i saw this look on pinterest and i also saw it uh from my tiktoker yeah who was recreating it but i for the love of me i cannot find her video anywhere on my phone because i downloaded it but I can't seem to remember her name and I also can't seem to remember, um, yeah, that where the video is. So basically what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to, yeah, explain the video as it is. If you have been following me, okay, right now I'm just doing my eyebrows and I normally just use an eyebrow pencil, fill it in, use a little bit of eyebrow wax, uh, which is the Rimmel eyebrow gel, a clear eyebrow gel. And then I am now going to apply that Super Stay Concealer on my eyelids and all over my eyelids basically just to act as an eyeshadow base. And then now I'm going to go in with this neon uh, pigments, those are neon pigments that I'm applying on my eyelid. And I chose this makeup look uh, specifically because I think it's very unique. It's very beautiful. It emphasizes on the eyes. And I do love uh, eye sh uh, makeup looks that emphasize on the eyes. So... Yeah, we are doing this one and instead of blue because i felt like my dark skin tone would not really suit blue that much although pastels do really go well with dark skin i just opted to prefer with uh using yellow um that is a, yellow, a neon pigment but it still does look pastel in the daytime unless you go into like darkness or nighttime that's when it will look neon so now i'm just going to use this note cosmetics eyeliner it's a black eyeliner by note cosmetics and i'm just going to use it to create the line that you saw there in the crease of my eye i have slightly drawn it above the crease of my eye because that's how it looks on the makeup just slightly above the crease of the eye and i've gone all the way from the inner corner of my eye all the way to the outer corner of my eye with that line and then now i'm just applying this uh, pastel pig yellow yeah pastel yellow from the makeup revolution palette and i'm also going to drag it right below my eyelids i feel like it produced a better shade of yellow although it's like a mustard yellow it produced a better shade of yellow than um the neon pigments and that's why i opted to use the makeup revolution yellow and then now we're going to go in with the same same eyeliner i absolutely hated this eyeliner it wasn't great the tip of the eyeliner wasn't great so it was making it really hard for me to create the wing especially the fact that the wing was not like your usual cut eye wing it was literally like a straight wing like the egyptian um queen's kind of wing uh so i just struggled with that pen and i also used the same same pen to draw this um what is it called those marks eyelashes fake lashes fake lower lashes because the call the, the makeup look called for fake lower lashes it also wanted uh one to use a white eyeliner for your lower eyelid but i opted to use a black one because i just felt like black will make the eye more you know look better in my opinion if you want to make your eye look bigger and wider like the real thing definitely use a white one um, and then now for a uh, foundation, I'm going to go do my face now. I've also put on false lashes before I did this foundation, as you guys can see. But they're very, very minimalistic. They're not very bold. And the, uh, the foundation that I've used, as you can see, matches my skin tone perfectly. Um, it's because we don't want anything to distract us from this eye look. So I did use the Clinique Even Better Foundation, and that is the shade Spice. I absolutely love that foundation. It's full coverage and it's really, really my foundation shade. Not many uh, companies carry my foundation shade, unfortunately. Much as I, my skin tone does look like many companies would pr be producing my foundation shade, but no, many companies do not actually carry my foundation shade. I'm not, I may not be the darkest person, but I guarantee you that finding my foundation shade is usually work. Most of them are either too warm toned. So I really appreciate it when Clinique actually came up with a foundation that looks like literally my skin tone. Okay, so 
enough about our foundation we are now using the makeup revolution bronzer sometimes i do use bronzer sometimes i use a contour stick to contour my nose in this case i've used a bronzer and then i'm going to go in with that revlon highlighter stick and i'm going to apply it just on my cheekbones i have very prominent cheekbones so i avoid contouring my face in general because my face is naturally contoured if you do have a face that is naturally contoured and most of the time slim already you don't really need to contour it further but if you do want to look like um really really chiseled you can contour it but i just opt not to contour it because i just feel like it makes me look extremely chiseled i'm not going to go in with fake freckles I am not really a fan of freck fake freckles, but I feel like for this look, it would just make the look look better, if that makes any sense. Of course, it doesn't make sense, but it would make the makeup look look better, you know, more mod. And now, for the lips, I noticed that she had very matte, almost natural lips, but they were not very natural. They were like a peachy, yeah, they were actually peach. They were like a peachy, um matte lipstick so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to mix two colors i have already applied a brown lip liner and now i'm going to do this sort of red color i believe this is by the superstay maybelline superstay lipsticks and i'm just going to blend out blend it out with that brown pencil that i did and then on top of that to create sort of a natural peachy you know lip almost pinkish in my case but it's sort of peachy i did apply the shade amazonian on top which is like a really pale brown shade still by, uh, by the maybelline superstay and then now i'm just powdering my face because i feel like this look doesn't need to be dewy oh yes i decided to apply another layer of the amazonian again so i did apply two layers of amazonian just to create like this peach look to blend in with the red because i didn't really have a shade that is this particular color yeah so i've just blended it blended it out and then now we are going to do some highlighter after powdering my face uh, and i'm using my usual nyx highlighter and the shade is golden hour i absolutely love this highlighter it is so natural as you guys can see you can barely ever see it but if you see it in real life without like the camera lights and all gorgeous gorgeous like just look at the sheen it gives you and then i've just applied a little bit of blush powder just to emphasize the look not too much so here's the final result guys and voila with all the accessories the scarf the earrings i just feel like this look is so beautiful so gorgeous so unique a bit witchy but really really beautiful mm -hmm.